It's always a good feeling. G'day, friends. Fernando here. This week I'm in Shanghai, and tomorrow I've got some free time, so hopefully I'll get a chance to show you around the city, some of that beautiful architecture that this city is famous for, and uh, maybe we can grab some uh, nice uh, traditional Chinese food while we're here. So it's pretty late at the moment, so I'm going to hit the sack, uh, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Bye. Okay, so we're here in Shanghai and the first stop I wanted to make was in Tsinghuang uh, Photographic Camera City. It's a whole building full of photographic equipment. It's like photographer's nirvana. I'm actually going to do a bit of a walk around and see uh, what else uh, is up there and uh, hopefully I'll come out with uh, my wallet intact because I'm sure uh, we're going to end up with uh, doing some kind of damage to, to the old hip pocket. Oh, this place is so tempting. Every brand under the sun, uh, it's got everything uh, in regards to accessories for your camera. Um, but also um, five floors or so full of uh, um, equipment, lighting equipment, tripods, camera bags, and anything else that you may want uh, for, as far as photography is concerned. It's really hard trying to actually get uh, focused on any one thing because there's a lot of stores selling exactly the same equipment. But uh, it is actually uh, very exciting to see uh, all the equipment that you see on catalogs all in the same place. So uh, it's like a, I'm like a kid in a candy store. God help me. Yes, I finally survived. I didn't spend too much money in there. I had two friends with me. Jaresh, Mindia, hey. and Rangan from the US. They were keeping me under control. Every time I pulled out my wallet, they make sure I put it right back in my pocket. And I think uh, they, uh, they helped me out a lot. So, challenge of the day survived. So let's go do some sightseeing. Okay, so now I'm walking down the French Quarter. It is uh, one of the older parts of Shanghai City. Uh, we're looking for somewhere to have some lunch um, with some Indian friends from work. So we're looking for a vegetarian place. And I think we found it. The Lotus Land Indian Cuisine. Well, we're gonna have some, uh, some traditional Indian food in China. I don't know how that works, but that's what we're getting. All right, let's see if we can make... Hello, can we get a table for three? Thank you. Watch your step, guys. It's very elaborate. All right, so got the shoes off. If I fall, don't laugh too loud. <laughs> I'm going to see here next to the boss. the boss. I'm going to turn the camera off now because I'm going to fall over. <laughs> Ah, yes, ate like a Maharaja, yeah, yeah, we ate yeah. like champions, what a good meal that was, we surely will be back, Definitely. but where, where are we off to now? Copy Mart, man. Copy Mart, yes, Copy. more uh, fake Chinese knockoffs, let's do it. <laughs>
So now we're going to uh, do a little bit of a sightseeing tour. We're going to go up to one of these uh, gigantic towers and we're going to uh, get a vista or a view from the top of Shanghai. Uh, can't wait, can't wait. If I can get a shot clear enough, I'll show you the actual building we're actually climbing. All right, so check this out. What the heck? second tallest building in the world but apparently it has the world's fastest elevator so I'll try not to vomit as we go up it's like a dance the way that you shake your head in full denial you love the truth didn't get a chance to say it loud your secrets kept you pushing down this avow When you was knocking on your door Nobody got in Now when you're screaming for a hand Nobody's listening oh, this is far from the end You're gonna be back for more Okay, that was a big day, did a lot of sightseeing, uh, got to do all the activities that we had planned for the day. The weather was fantastic, my colleague Pradya, she had a blast as well. And uh, you know, time uh, to go back to the hotel and uh, call it a day and just relax for a bit and um, get to work tomorrow. Bye.